this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the rotation of your motors on the Vortex T50 Pro using a technology called RotorSense. RotorSense was introduced on the Vortex 285. What's nice about RotorSense is that if you replace or upgrade a motor, like I did here, I upgraded the stock V-Spec motors with the Scorpion M2205 2350KV. And uh, when you upgrade or anything, and of course, uh, most of you guys will know with the vortex changing out or replacing motors is a pain in the ass. Here you got to remove several screws, I think 10 or 12, and then you got to desolder the motor uh, from the ESCs and then replace it. So this can take a couple hours to do. And of course, if you have the motors in the wrong direction, you have to go back. With rotor sense, you don't have to do that anymore. You simply just power up the quad and you adjust the motor to the right direction you want. On here, you'd have to. Uh, uh, swap out the bullet connections and make sure that the motors are spinning in the right direction. Rotor sense is pretty convenient. So if we test this out, these motors are spinning in the wrong direction. Let me test the voltage of this battery first before we start. Yeah, this is good. So speaking of before we start, make sure that you remove all propellers from your quadcopter as you don't want anything bad going on. It's just a safety uh, Precaution you should have and also most importantly make sure that your uh, video transmitter antenna is on as you can risk burning out the transmitter when you don't power on with an antenna So we're going to plug this in So if we see the motors are spinning in the wrong direction The motors for the black, uh, they need to be spinning clockwise, and then the gold ones need to be spinning counterclockwise. So when this spins clockwise, this is this uh, propeller adapter or the thread up here will uh, self-tighten. So these spin, these are uh, counterclockwise, and while these are clockwise for tightening, so the propellers continue. The well, the screws won't get undone when you uh, uh, have your propellers on; they'll get tightened, which is really nice. So uh, we don't need any radio system or OSD or FPV on to do the rotor sense. And what's nice about these motors is that they have directions of which they need to be going. So when I mounted these motors, on, I made sure that the direction and orientation was in the right, right uh, spot. Of course, if you put these on backwards, uh, you'll find out like your propellers come off. These ones don't really have too much issue because they have locking nuts, but it depends on what brand motors you upgrade to. So what we'll do is we'll plug the battery in, wait for the flight controller to uh, boot up, give it a couple more seconds. And you saw earlier that these were in different uh, orientations or rotations. So this needs to go clockwise, black needs to go clockwise, and needs to go counterclockwise. So you simply spin until you hear the first beat. Takes a while. Some, there we go, first beep, confirm, one more, there we go, that's the second beep you want. You want to double beeps or triple beeps to confirm the right direction. So we'll do it for this one. There we go. There we go. So it's a little finicky, but it's to double check and confirm that you really want your motor to spin in that direction. There we go. There we go. And here, counterclockwise. Let's see why it's not doing that properly. There we go. All right, I think our motors are in the right direction. So now we'll just plug the battery. Wait for it. 
Alright, so this is spinning in the right direction, clockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Double check again, you can just check on the arrows. Alright, so that process took about less than a minute if you do it right. If you're a pro at it, it should be 30 seconds or less. Of course, you just need to make sure that your uh, that the system needs con uh, confirms that the rotation is the right direction. So all in all, that's RotorSense technology. Very, very convenient rather than having to switch any out connectors or bullets swapping motors or resoldering uh, wires or putting jumpers to make sure that your motors are in the right direction. Very nice. I hope they continue to that with the next version of Vortex and other uh, manufacturers. Uh, import this feature. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And as always, have a nice day.